it's very hard. Black Ops Cold War. As I'm sure we all know, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is one of the most polished and perfect Call of Duty games to date. No glitches in this game, no weird bugs, nothing like that at all. So when I show you guys this clip, I'm sure you won't think anything of it, right? <laughs> what? 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 There's a naked person in the game! What? Huh? Why is there a naked person? What the fuck? There's an umbra. Oh my god! Yeah, what is that shit? Oh my god, they're still naked! There's a hacker in here! What the fuck? Oh my god! We have to go into theater mode for this shit. That's so weird and gross. I, I honestly, I thought I saw something. I just killed him. What is that face? There's no face. It has no eyes, no eyeballs. That's gross. There's <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Did I just get cyberpunked? Okay, to be fair, I don't think this glitch is anything quite like the weird stuff we've seen in Cyberpunk 2077. I personally haven't bought or played the game. I was thinking about getting it on PS4 for the memes because apparently there's like some really weird like low res textures and stuff like that. But you guys already know, I'm more of a cyber jazz kind of person. But seriously guys, what the hell is wrong with this game? I mean, why does this skin even exist in the first place? I genuinely have no idea how this person got this skin, how they were basically able to run around Nuketown half naked. <laughs> this shit's ridiculous. I mean, it makes me think of like a GTA 5 hacker back in the day, or even like some of the mods you would see on World at War. So yeah, definitely let me know if this is something you guys have seen on Black Ops Cold War, because I kind of feel like we're the only people who have seen this. And this is definitely some of the weirdest shit I've seen on this game so far. Immediately after playing that Nuketown game, we decided to go into theater mode so we could check it out, see exactly how this might've happened. And surprise, surprise, we still have no fucking clue how this person got this skin. They just kind of loaded up onto the map with this half-naked person, whatever it is. I, I have no clue. And they're just playing the match like normal, like nothing's even going on. Now, whether or not this person is using mods or if they hacked this skin into the game, I mean, I have no clue. There was nothing really too suspicious about the way they were playing. They just happened to have this extremely weird skin. But needless to say, it was pretty interesting going into theater mode, being able to check out the skin a little bit more in depth, watch them in third person, which by the way, Treyarch, if you happen to be watching this video, it'd be pretty cool to see third person come back. The last time I can remember playing an actual like third person multiplayer mode for Call of Duty was like Modern Warfare 2 and 3. I know that's completely random. It's a different tangent, but when I was in theater mode, you can spectate in third person. So it just kind of like jogged that memory. I genuinely can't remember the last Call of Duty game to have third person as a playable multiplayer mode. It was really cool, but I digress. I mean, this skin, it's got me all kinds of fucked up. I mean, like how did this person get this skin? Where did it come from? Why the fuck is this skin now haunting my nightmares? I mean, shit, I'm on Black Ops Cold War right now. If I look at the operators, I don't think there's anyone in the game that it looks like other than Hunter. I mean, clearly it's this guy. I don't have stone unlocked, but I'm pretty sure it's not him hiding under the face sock. Ski mask? I, what is that? Head condom? It can't possibly be Garcia. I mean, I know he's got the goofy bulbous head skin now, but they wouldn't do Garcia like that. <laughs> oh my god, my texture's broken. I can see you. Always watch it. I see you, Mike Wazowski. Those some dirty feet. Man, third person would be so fucking fun to play in this game, like, especially if you look like this deformed creature. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the bird detail. Wait, oh my sure? god, yeah. Oddly enough, so the power supplies Dude, are that, pretty, pretty detailed too. That bird's got really nice looking eyes. But yeah, I guess in the meantime, we can do some Nuketown 24-7. I think I'm gonna do some sniping with the Tundra. I've already got gold camo for the Pellington and the M82. I just need to get it for the Tundra. I still gotta level it up quite a bit though before I can actually get gold. I swear to God, if I see this skin again. Regardless of how that dude got the skin or if Treyarch created the skin, why is it there? Like, why is that even a playable character? <laughs> Maybe they're gonna sell it after season one's out. Gonna hit an ill cam. <gasps> I hit. Why is this broken? That's not even my name. Switching. Oh, there I am. <laughs> and I'm looking at sand. I mean, this game is so perfect. No lie, I actually love how fucking broken this game is. It's just free content, honestly. Every little like weird thing that happens with this game is hilarious. Oh fuck! Now, ah, jump, jump, jump. What is this? Did everyone in this lobby just get a scuff? And yes, this is my controller to Damascus scuff, but my paddles don't hate me because I'm not constantly pressing them a thousand times a second. I'm a nerd, but not that big of a nerd. I hate this lobby. You can't even fucking see anything because all they do is camp around with smokes everywhere. Oh. Oh my god. Yo, if I almost had all those no scopes, that would've been so sick. But yeah, aside from seeing that disgusting creature of a skin in the Newtown lobby, season one's gonna be coming out soon. If you're watching this video right now, I'm most likely gonna be streaming season one tonight. So yeah, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the stream. We're gonna be checking out basically everything that's coming out. Oh my! Oh! Triple kill. Come here. What the? F 
He ran away. Dude, they almost just lined up for a triple. I'm actually so sad I couldn't turn that into a quad feed. Which, by the way, I just wanted to thank you guys for the amazing support on the quad feed with every gun video for Black Ops Cold War. You guys killed the support on that video. It was my number one video out of 10. That's like the big thing now, having the video be number one for like your recent videos and shit. So thank you guys for that. I do still need to hit the quad feeds with the RPG, the Sigma, and the M79. And I saw that with like a new patch that's coming out, I think tonight, because I'm recording this video on Monday. Apparently, there's going to be a flak jacket nerf. Now, I have no idea how big that nerf is going to be, but it does have me pretty excited because hopefully the launchers in hardcore will have a chance of getting quad feeds. So depending on how they tweak it will determine whether or not I can actually hit a quad feed with all of these guns. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I am excited about it though. It gives me a sliver of hope that you can actually hit quad feeds with the launchers consistently. That way it doesn't have to just be this god tier scenario where four people who aren't paying attention just get one shot quad. We're gonna hit the quad. After almost hitting that triple, I think I can actually hit one. Ah, they're throwing smokes. Why? This is so ugly. <gasps> no, he's right there. I want to shot him. Come on. No! <laughs> there was a guy right there. If you've ever wondered whether or not I reverse boost, I do not reverse boost. I do snipe though. And this is how it usually goes. There are just some guns or some classes of guns that are just utter shit compared to like assault rifles and SMGs. Generally speaking, the snipers are like that, but once you do bad enough, I feel like the game does put you into easier lobbies to snipe in. But once you have one good game, back to the sweaties. It's the exact same case with the launchers. I mean, I tried to use the launchers so much, but they were so pitifully bad that I would just end up doing garbage every game. Talk about going like three to 30. So yeah, I'm definitely excited to see Flak Jacket get nerfed a little bit. To be fair, I have no idea what they're going to do to it exactly. We don't have patch notes yet. At least not at the time of recording this video. One, one off the bloodthirsty. Let's get it, Eric. Oh my. Oh, I actually got it. Wow, how? Are there any guns in Black Ops Cold War that you guys are struggling with really badly? Because when it came to going for the quad feeds in this game, I was definitely struggling with the snipers and the launchers the most. That and the combat knife. I mean, those were some of the last quad feeds to actually get completed for the video. But that's not necessarily going to be the case for going for DM Ultra. I've already got diamond shotguns. I'm going for the diamond snipers next. I have no idea what's going to be last. I mean, maybe the LMGs or some shit. In the corner, what is it? Logically play? skilled is in a corner with a fucking AUG. Yeah, that's skilled. You know what's logically skilled? Not being a po- That was one of the best games I've ever played, dude. Fucking 18 to 33. All right, let's go. One shot quad coming in. Fucker. Okay. Oh my God. What is the deal with the fucking smokes? They're everywhere! All I want for Christmas, Nuketown, is to be able to play fucking hardcore Dawn of <laughs> Hardpoint in the 24-7 playlist. What was that? Was that a bazooka? Oh my god! What was that 99 damage, but you're still not dead? Dude's health bar looked like a dead battery. We won that game by one point. I did as well as I possibly can going 33 to 50 trying to snipe against these people. What a nightmare. Not as bad as the nightmares I'm having about that skin, though. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the glitchster hack skin. I still have no clue. Until season one for Black Ops Cold War is out, I'm gonna keep grinding my weapon camos and stuff like that. Level up guns with the double weapon XP. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did it and you want to see some more weird shit in Black Ops Cold War, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. I don't need I don't need a I don't I don't I don't I don't need a dime to get some more.